Hi, my name's Nicola White. I'm an artist and mudlark and many of you may be more accustomed to seeing me next to the River Thames. But as you can see, I'm nowhere near the River Thames. I'm at Point Reyes in Marin County in California, where I've been discovering the amazing wildlife. So where better to go than the Marine Mammal Centre in Sausalito? So today is beautiful outside, we've got blue skies, it's sunny. That can change by the afternoon. Um, we might have rain tomorrow, it might be cloudy. So weather is the day-to-day -day atmospheric conditions. Climate is much bigger in scope. It's around a 30-year average of what the weather is. So if weather is what you see today, climate would be what do you expect. Thinking about today when I got dressed in the morning. I went into my closet and I picked out something that fits this type of weather day. Climate would be, what did I stock in my closet to begin with? What was I expecting weather to be like? Is it gonna be 32 degrees Celsius? Um, is it gonna be 10 degrees Celsius? We have these patterns that we know certain parts of the world are gonna be very warm in the summertime or some places that see more rain. That's climate. And what we can do as scientists is look at those models because after a 30 year average, it's pretty clear what we should expect to see. And with climate change, we're seeing those things drastically changing. Places are getting much warmer than normal. Places are getting much rainier or drier. That's why climate change is such a problem. Weather will change day to day. We don't focus as much on that in terms of raising huge amounts of problems. When we see the whole climate shifting, that's a sign that we need to take action today. So climate change is obviously scary at times, but what's really exciting is how much action is happening and all the different people that are getting involved and the benefits that come with it. So one of my favorite stories is actually schools all around the country are coming together and putting solar panels on their roofs. Um, and what's happening is it's actually cheaper to use solar energy in most states at this point in the United States that they're saving money and enough to actually raise things like the teacher salaries based off the money they're spending by simply adding solar panels onto their roofs. One of the other impacts of climate change is what we call ocean acidification. And it's the ocean is trying to help balance the amount of carbon dioxide that's in the atmosphere with what's in the ocean. And by taking in that excess carbon dioxide, it's actually changing the ocean chemistry. And it's causing essentially an osteoporosis of the sea. So these animals that depend on calcium carbonate to build their shells, things like shellfish or a kind of small zooplankton, are now struggling to find the ingredients needed to build healthy shells. And they're becoming more brittle. That's going to then impact all the animals that depend on zooplankton and depend on shellfish. Um, the cause of it is still the release of fossil fuels. So we can address ocean acidification at the same time as all these other issues like warming water temperatures by simply reducing our use of fossil fuels like coal, oil, and methane gas. So we're able to address things at so many levels, creating a healthier environment, but healthy jobs, healthy people. That's what's really exciting about climate change solutions, that we don't need to take these actions just to help the environment. It'll help people financially. It will help people create a safe, healthy environment, their neighborhoods with less air pollution. Those are the things that get me really excited. And there are so many groups all around the country and the world that are doing it. Look in your area, find people that are passionate, and there's gonna be so many opportunities to get involved and create these benefits for so many people while also addressing climate change. The ocean is in real trouble. Whether it be overfishing or rising ocean temperatures, these are threats that were caused by humans. At the Marine Mammal Center, our mission is global ocean conservation. And we're set to achieve that with a plan to not just treat the patients that come into our care, but to understand and be a part of the solution to the problems that bring them here in the first place. Mm -hmm.